Okay, I'm, I am Paul. Uh, I live in Butte in North Cornwall. I'm also known as the Bohemian because that's where origin, uh, origins come are from. And uh, it's also reasonably called by nature. Mm. I, <laughs> I have uh, spent 30 years in the market research industry in, in, in South London area and so on. And then in 2006 I found, I found out about resource depletion and climate change and I changed my lifestyle and built a small farm in uh, North Cornwall and converted it to organic, so we now run an organic sustainable livestock farm uh, which is powered entirely by renewable energy. Um, and we sell the food as beef boxes locally and through various websites. But I've always been aware that uh, this, is, this, uh, this forms of distribution it has its, has its, uh, uh, um, uh, has its difficulties and I've been always on the lookout for something better. And when I read about the food assembly, have, has anybody heard about the food assembly? Yeah, one or two people, okay. When I first uh, read about it, actually in The Guardian, in about October or something, um, I thought, well, this could be it. So I applied to around one of those in Butte, and to my surprise, they said yes. So here we are, and we are now uh, running this, uh, uh, this scheme in, 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 that, uh, in that area. Um, Uh, what else have we ever? So, the concept originates in France, it's about three years old now, uh, and now there are about 700 of these assemblies in France, in some of the surrounding countries like Belgium, Italy and Spain, and the first 20 have appeared in the UK. Uh, several of them are in London, and one or two are in, you know, in, in, in the sticks, like in Butte. Um, this, they, they are probably the smallest assembly, uh, viewed as only 5,000 population, whereas in London, you, uh, any particular borough will have 100,000 plus population. So it's quite a hard job to actually do it here, but nevertheless, it seems to work. So this, um, I've applied, uh, we started the process in mid-October, we launched on the 3rd of December, and now we have about 300 members, signed up members of the scheme, uh, 13 food producers are uh, producing food uh, for, uh, for us um, and new producers and new members are signing all the time. My aim is to get to about a thousand or so by, uh, by the end of the year uh, and that would make it a viable proposition. So, what it actually is. A few, a few hands are uh, getting numb, just put it down now, okay? I think everybody has seen, <laughs> seen what it says. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help. So what, what is a scheme actually? Well, it's a kind of click and collect service, a bit like a click and collect supermarket service. You, uh, you, you buy online um, and then there is a particular location when you go and collect your shopping. Uh, but there are lots of differences. Uh, the first is that uh, all the food is from local producers. It's, uh, we don't sell anything that is not produced locally. Secondly, we s the producers sell direct directly to the, uh, to the customers. There is no intermediary. We simply provide the website and a little bit of organization around it, uh, but in fact it's a producer to customer relationship. Um, so the way that, uh, and that of course means that, uh, that producers get the highest possible margin from any route to the market. You know, if you go through uh, super, uh, supermarkets, you might earn 10 or 20% of the retail value of, uh, of your product. Uh, if you go through here, the percentage is uh, uh, something over 80%, 80 85% 80 or so. So producers get much more value out of this type of system than going through any other route to the market. I will go through it in a second. So how does it actually work in practice? Well, customers register without any fee or commitment to, to, to purchase, uh, or, or they register online, and then from time to time, as they wish to, they click on particular items uh, displayed on, uh, on, on a screen to buy individual items, and they also pay online. Then once a week, there is assembly, which basically means that we have a kind of pop-up market in a particular location. In our case, it's a sun lounge of a restaurant in Butte, which, is, uh, which has a lot of parking around and it's easily accessible. And uh, individual producers set up their stalls on just tables, not nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, uh, and um, customers come in, they have a printout uh, from a computer system or the more, more uh, technically aware people will actually come along with their 
with their mobile phones or laptops, and, and not laptops, the, uh, what are they called? Uh, tablets. Tablets. And actually read out their uh, shopping list uh, from that and pick everything up from individual producers. At the same time, of course, you get to know the producers, you can talk to them, you can talk to the other people. There it becomes a social activity as well as a shopping trip. Um, one of the uh, uh, one of the perhaps unique as, uh, characteristics of a food assembly is that the model is transparent. Everybody knows exactly how much everybody is getting out of it, and they uh, make a uh, they make a point of actually actually specifying on the very first leaflet you read that the food assembly itself gains 8.3 percent of the value of the retail value of the products that are being sold, and the host, that is myself imbued, also gets 8.3 percent. Remainder. 70, sorry, 83 percent roughly for for the for the producer, and the, that obviously covers transfer, uh, bank transfer fees, software development, staff salaries for the food assembly area. The host gets uh, uh, money for the time spent for publicity that's necessary to recruit people, uh, and various other costs. We have also actually now arranged for a home delivery service. Which is, uh, which is a additional cost, and basically we are using volunteer drivers, uh, pay them to, to do the uh, delivery, so that those people who find it inconvenient or impossible to turn up to collect their shopping can also participate. Okay, so that's, that's uh, more or less described so, uh, the system. And what I would like to do now is to just just go through one or two points of the differences between the other models and food, uh, and, uh, uh, and food assembly. Uh, so advantages over supermarkets. Well, there are lots, but let me just uh, get a few. Producers get much better margin and therefore can invest in for sustainable food production. Uh, minimal food miles, because everything comes from within about 10 or 15 miles uh, of, uh, uh, <coughs> around the particular area where the food assembly is set up. Um, much greater value stays in the local economy because you are buying directly from local producers, the money doesn't disappear anywhere else, we are plugging the holes in the bucket. Um, and of course we are safeguarding the skills and trades in the area because people are actually uh, producing not just of raw materials but, uh, but you know, uh, uh, I don't know, cottage cream or cottage, cottage cheese cream, uh, various, various things. We have lots of bakers uh, uh, in, in our area, so various skills and activity that, that uh, enable us to uh, ensure that we, actually con that we actually establish a sustainable and a resilient food system. <coughs> Advantages over, over shops, over normal shops. Now, you know, most, most of us want to encourage local shops, but there are one or two advantages we have over the shops themselves. First of all, producers get, again, much better margin than they would get through a shop. Not as bad as, it's not as bad as, as supermarkets, but nevertheless, the shop will normally take 30 or 40 percent of the retail value. So that, there's uh, quite a lot more coming to the producers. We are open 24 hours, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so people can shop at three, more, three in the morning if they want to. And you get to know the, know the producer. So there are a few advantages over local shops as well. Advantages over farmer's market. Now, you would think farmer's market is the best possible model. Well, actually, not quite, because when a, when, when, when a producer goes to a farmer's market, they don't know how much they are going to sell. So they always bring quite a lot of stuff, uh, and some of it is unsold, and therefore there is a bit of waste in, in, involved in, in that. Alternatively, they run out too soon, and they, have, they, haven't, uh, they could have sold more, but they haven't got it, therefore they can't. So, you are, uh, from producers' point of view, you know exactly how much they need to supply to that pop-up market. Um, in our case, we actually allow them to also sell for cash. So, if they have some spare produce, they can bring it along, and some people then go around the other stalls, and, uh, and they can taste the food, they can talk to people, and maybe make additional purchases as a test, uh, so that uh, next time they can buy it in rather reasonable bulk. Uh, okay. Um, and what are the advantages over online sales? We sell our, feed, uh, our meat boxes online, um, which is a good way of selling it. Our producer gets all of the money and so on. Um, but in this case, you get one place to choose all of your weekly shopping, and you have one, uh, one, uh, one place where you actually pay for all that. You don't have to go to 20 different websites to buy bread and butter and milk and meat from various places. You go to one place and uh, get all your shopping at the same time. There are no delivery charges with us. 
uh, because you pick up the shopping yourself. It's the sort of normal model. Now, no time, uh, time uh, problems with times of delivery. Uh, am I going to be home or not? Broken boxes and so on. The kind of normal problems with online uh, sales. And uh, other features I would like to mention is that this scheme is actually nationwide. Uh, we have a good support from the headquarters for all the different hosts and from other hosts. We get a sort of separate Facebook page to. To, to talk about how, how best to run the system. But more importantly, members and producers can log in uh, and become registered, even if there is no food assembly near them, and they can actually uh, apply, it's a particular button, you can apply to simply set up your own assembly in your own town, anywhere, anywhere in the country. So uh, right now, if you go in there, register on, on the build assembly or any other assembly you like, you can then very quickly establish a, 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 a Penzance assembly and, and uh, Truro assembly and so on. It, it, the system spreads like wildfire. Wild, wild, wild a fire, that's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I think that's the more or less all I want to do. I would, uh, there is a uh, Facebook also for build for food assembly, so have a look at that. And otherwise, I would just say, uh, go forth and multiply uh, <laughs> the number of assemblies in corn. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed.